Welcome back to the Kelloland High School Football Preview Show. Ken collected its first state championship since 2013 last fall, but it was the Seahawks' first 11A title in 14 years. Ken is the reigning 11A champion and starts the season number one in the prep media poll. T. Area and Dell Rapids also earn first place votes and stand 2-3 respectively, followed by West Central and Dakota Valley. Canton dropped its first two games of the season, but then won 10 straight to cap off the year with its first state championship since 2013. The Seahawks lost 10 seniors to graduation, including four All-State players. Seth Peterson will lead the way under center, and a deep backfield will be a strength. Head coach Rich Lundstrom says his current squad is anxious to prove themselves. Wrestling, they, those guys have been repeating here for the last couple of years, so I told the, the guys last year that, hey, it's our our turn here to do something that we've never done before and repeat so that's you know that's their goal going in to um, step out of the shadow of those seniors from last year maybe and, and do something special themselves canton begins its title offense august 28th versus t area lennox advanced to its first state championship game since 1982 finishing as runner-up to canton the Orioles will have to replace 11 seniors with three of those vacated spots on the offensive line. Brandon Fodness will take over at quarterback, and they'll rely on a group of backs to fill in for the departed Hayden Mendel. Head coach Matthew Luze says communication will be key to putting up points. Usually plan A doesn't happen very often. It, you know, Good offenses, good football teams, they win off of plan C, plan B. How do they adjust? How do we adapt? And so getting our kids to communicate uh, having plans, talking on the field, you know, as coaches, once the ball snapped, we're all spectators. So getting those kids to solve their problems out on the field is a big one. Lennox travels to Dell Rapids on August 28th for its season opener. T area saw its 11A title defense come to an end in last November's semifinals, losing to eventual champion Canton 28-10. This year's Titans showcase 11 seniors with a wealth of experience on offense, but head coach Craig Clayberg says that's not the case on defense. Biggest question mark, I would say, is more on the defensive side. Uh, we lost, you know, three linebackers in there, um, you know, that had started for a couple years for us. So that's big, just the leadership over there. But we got some guys who were kind of picking up right where they left off. Those older, older guys taught them everything that they knew. And, and it, like I said, it's just kind of nice when you can just put new guys in and they just continue with what's been here. Titans open the regular season August 28th at Canton. Bridgewater Emory Ethan is a defending 11B champion, but starts the season second to winner in the prep media poll. McCook Central Montrose, Sioux Valley, and St. Thomas Moore round out the top five. Bridgewater Emory Ethan is coming off a perfect 12-0 season in which they claim their third state title since 2010 and first since moving up to 11B. The Seahawks defense helped lead the way to the crown last year, allowing just 14 points in their four playoff games and will once again be a focal point for head coach Jeff Van Leeuwen. That's the one thing we've always stressed, we always hang our hats on our defense. You know, like we figure our defense gets our offense in the flow and, and sets the tone of the game, and, and so you know, we believe defense wins championships or whatever we do, wins games, so we, we're, we hang our hats on defense, so hopefully again this year we can be solid defensemen. Bridgewater Emmer Ethan will open their title defense on the road against Wagner on Friday. Coming off a quarterfinal appearance last year, St. Thomas Moore will have plenty of spots to fill this season. The Cavaliers graduated 13 seniors, including eight starters on offense and seven starters on defense. Despite those losses, head coach Wayne Sullivan still feels his team's experience will be a strength for them this year. Uh, we got a lot of kids on the field last year, a lot of playing time, a lot of varsity time, uh, and it always helps when you can go into the playoffs. So for the last four or five years, going to the playoffs deep, you know, you get an extra two or three games each time, so you get essentially another season. So a lot of our kids that are coming out, uh, you know, they've got a lot of game experience. St. Thomas Moore opens its season on the road at Hot Springs on Friday. Well, Cook Central Montrose advanced to the Class 11B semifinals last fall under first-year head coach Sean Flanagan. Cougars return plenty of talent, including senior running back Jacoby Krause, who rushed for more than 1,700 yards. MCM will continue to run the football, but Flanagan says the passing game is improved and that his team is eager to advance deeper into the playoffs. Success breeds success a lot, and the kids are still hungry, which I'm excited about. They really think the semifinals isn't good enough. They want to go all the way. So having high standards is really, really good. And the kids have been bought in so far, and they really want to you know, finish, finish the road and be their best this year. 
The Cougars are set to open the season Friday at Beersford. We'll tackle the nine-man brand of football next.